Seems like forever. Good morning. I am just getting up. Last night I stayed at the Walmart at mm, Kelso, Washington. I have difficulty remembering <laughs> some names. Um, so yes, Kelso, Washington. Um, there are not too many boondocking places. I'm trying to get to the Oregon coast and, uh, and go down the coast but there are not too many boondocking places around here and I needed to, the, to do some things in town so I took a great shower last night at a Planet Fitness I'm sorry I'm kind of sluggish because I am half asleep so I wanted to show you what I am doing inside of the van sleeping at Walmart gives me so much peace you have no idea i had a great night sleep i i can totally tune out the noise of engines and uh, there was a truck actually next to me and those give me peace because those are good honest uh, workers that just need to take a nap somewhere safe so i feel safe when i am next to them and uh, that was great. Um, on the other hand, let me show you what I have already done during the morning. I mean, during the, the one hour I have been awakened. And uh, I had my coffee with just one spoonful of cream. Uh, because today I'm going to try to start my intermittent fasting with a keto diet. I am very happy with it. I am losing weight. But now I have to go into the, hey, buddy, you, wake up, do something, accelerate your metabolism, do whatever you do. So I have to give it a shock to, so my body doesn't get used to what we have been doing for a whole month now of keto, almost a month. So I have to wake it up in some other ways because we still have lots of pounds to shed. And um, so I woke up, I had my coffee, which is just black coffee with one spoonful of cream that is very pleasing to me. And, um, and it's only 50 calories. So that is not going to break my intermittent fasting. So for the rest of the day, I will try to keep going and maybe have a very light dinner and that's it. So the good thing about a high fat, moderate protein, very low carb diet, one of the best things about that is you never go hungry. So that is when you have to use it to your advantage but I am digressing sorry about that I wanted to show you where I am and what the whole thing looks like because it's part of the plan for today uh, civilization has its perks and we are going to use them today let me show you when I am at a Walmart I always try to park next to shrubs or trees or something like that because that gives me a little privacy not much and then of course I, I put my curtains uh, so I block light and views but in the morning before leaving I just twist them a little bit here and I tuck them into the pockets so they don't bother my view when I am driving so I'm going to do this not easy with one hand going to do this with the other one sorry about that just twist it a couple of times and tuck it behind the water containers there i am almost ready to leave so i have my uh, laptop in its case and uh, the sponge I used last night at 
a Planet Fitness. That one is already dry. So it will go into my little tubs here where I put just the shampoo and practical things. So this is the thing. I already uh, stripped my bed off of sheets. Let me turn to the back. Just one moment. Ugh. There we go. So I already took my sheets and my mattress protector off of the bed. I put them in my laundry bag. Today we have laundry to do. So the sheets are there, my towel is there, the mattress protector, a, a few t-shirts and pants I have been wearing these days. Everything goes to the laundromat today. My my dresser, my and the little dresser over there, they are already tied up, uh, so they don't shake and get open and everything while I am driving. You see, when I I use bungee cords from that, I love these bungee cords. I'm going to put a link in the description. They're very 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 good. They have this nice plastic hook, so they don't scratch anything. And I just tie that one to the um, to both ends, to both um, strips of the safety belt, and it goes around holding that one. And here I linked two of them together to have enough length. To go around the air and to a into a hook that is a ring that is in the van on in that location so that is enough length to help me to go from here all the way back to that corner and uh, they're very nice and soft and unobstructive. I really like those bungee cords and they are, they are black, so I like that better. I mean, they are not colorful. I, I, I like to feel, if I had colorful bungee cords, I would feel like I, I am using bungee cords. <laughs> I don't want to be that much camp uh, life inside of my van. That is, if you recognize it, that is my tab, the one I use for taking my baths. And the only blanket I have been using these nights, because at night it gets a little frisky. Um, so I have my drinking water there and my fridge. Nothing, nothing much, nothing has changed. The only thing I have to always do before I leave the van is take my keys, my car keys, from here. I always hook them from this same hook every night. When I come in, I always put them there so I never, never lose them. I, I always know where they are. They are always hanging from there, just above my stove and my jackery. Um, so it's always... This is a, another one I have uh, just for emergency cases. I have a headlamp here. It is there, handy. So if this one light, which is amazing, if this one runs out of battery, I always have that other one. I don't know if you remember this one. This one has three intensities. So one push is a bright light. And the second one is a middle, and the third one is a very low light that I sometimes use to read or something. And um, the headlamp is this one is absolutely amazing. The first is medium, well, low, medium, and very high uh, that I use to go out of the van if I need to in the middle of the night. So, again, let's take the keys. I always... Hi, back. I always put them around my neck before leaving the 
Ah, sorry. I always put them around my neck before leaving the van. That way I, I don't have any possibility of misplacing them, losing them, anything. Um, I am almost ready for the road. I haven't combed my hair yet. Um, so, the plan for today is city life. I have to do laundry, I have to go to the bank and do a couple of things. So today is going to be just that, city life. Um, I, may, I may, depending on how easy everything goes and how early I finish, I may go, to, I may drive to Astoria in on the coast. I am trying to go around Portland even though I don't know the city, I haven't been there, uh, unless it is a famous city or a, an extremely beautiful city like I think Chicago is, I try to avoid cities because they just stress me and uh, I, there is nothing there that attracts me. So I am going to just start driving, when I am done with the laundry and everything, I'm going to start driving to Astoria and uh, because I feel so well today, I, I had an amazing night's sleep. I slept probably nine hours, fantastic. And uh, I don't want to ruin that driving in traffic in the city. So I will probably drive to Astoria and we'll touch base with you again, probably tomorrow morning, to tell you how everything went. You have a great day. Take care. Seems like forever Since we've been together